Hello students, welcome to our biology class today. Our topic is aquatic habitat with particular focus on marine habitat. My name is Mordecai Udoka. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the characteristics of marine habitat, understand the pattern of distribution of plants and animals in marine environments, recognize some adaptive features of plants and animals in the habitat, and also understand the food chain in the marine habitat. What is marine habitat? Marine habitats refer to aquatic habitats which contain salt water. It includes the oceans, lakes, shores, and open seas. Let's briefly discuss the characteristics of marine habitat. This is determined by a large number of variables. These variables include salinity, density, pressure, size, current, tides, oxygen concentration, temperature, and light penetration. Salinity has to do with the degree of salt in oceans. Marine waters have high salt content. Density is high in the marine environment, hence organisms can float in it. Water pressure increases with depth. When it comes to size, marine waters represent the largest of all the habitats. Oceans alone occupy 70% of the earth to total surface. Currents are always produced by wind at the surface of the water and down the ocean due to change in salinity and temperature. Tides are the alternate rise and fall of the ocean and this takes place approximately twice a day. Oxygen concentration decreases with depth. It is high at the surface, none at the very deep. Temperature also decreases with depth. Light penetration. Due to high turbidity, light can only penetrate to about 200 meters. We now want to discuss the major zones in the marine environment. On the basis of depth or light penetration or vertical zoning of marine habitat, there exist three major zones. These are euphotic zone, dysphotic zone, and aphotic zone. Euphotic zone, otherwise called intertidal zone. This is an area directly connected with sunshine. It has high photosynthetic activity. Producers, consumers, and decomposers are found here. This photic or literal zone is about 200 meters deep. Consumers and decomposers are found here. Light intensity is too low for photosynthesis to occur. A photic or oceanic zone this represents the bottom or bed of the ocean. No light penetration, cold dark waters with very few living organisms, consumers and decomposers are present. The various zones are in the diagram there. Organisms in marine habitats and their adaptive features. Let's now look at the distribution of organisms in marine habitats and how they are able to survive in their environment. We first take the plants. Consider seaweeds. They can hold fast for attachment, divided leaves, floating devices, or air bladder for buoyancy. All they possess chlorophyll for photosynthesis, large surface area for floating. Sesuvium possess thick leaves for water conservation. Planktons, example diatoms, possess air species in their tissues. Rhizoids or fake feet for attachment to rocks, air bladder for buoyancy. We also have the animals and the adaptive features. These include the barnacles. They have mantle for attachment to rocks and holding water for respiration. Cilia for feeding, shell prevent desiccation. Cartilaginous fishes, example shark, retain urea in their body to cope with high salinity. Bony fish, example tilapia possess salt-secreting glands in their gills or eyes for salt balance or osmoregulation. Shrimps, they possess powerful claws for holding food or prey. We have crabs, like the one in the diagram, capable of burrowing fast into the mud to protect them against predators, waves or tides. Then prey wrinkles, 
possess lungs for breathing and food for attachment. Shell prevents desiccation. Starfish. Starfish possess tube feet which enable them to hold on to rock shells. Hard shell which prevent it from drying up. Two major food chain in marine habitat. Um, a typical food chain in marine habitat could be up to three or four trophic levels. So the first one is diatoms to zooplankton to tilapia to shark. And that is the one represented in the diagram here. We also have diatoms to crabs to tilapia. So this one is the three trophic levels. What have we learned today? Marine habitats refer to aquatic habitats which contain salt water. They include the oceans, lakes, shores, and open seas. The characteristic of marine habitat is determined by a number of variables such as light, temperature, and oxygen concentration. Organisms in marine habitat have developed some features to enable them adapt to their environment. I have assignment for you. One. State the subzones of marine habitat. Two, state common adaptive features found in marine organisms. And three, describe the energy flow in marine habitat. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send it to the email that is placed on the screen.